dead, and the gates are still standing. You are welcome. You see what happens when someone messes with my best pal's mask? Poof! My bet is Motoko tried to teleport us into the sanctuary. But since the dragon is draining the world's chi, she's starting to lose her powers. That's why we need to hurry. Yeah, let's just hope your sorceress friend doesn't screw the pooch. I don't have friends. And be careful how you talk to her. She has less of a sense of humor than I do. Whatever. If she doesn't mess with the mask, I won't break her balls. I'm serious, Lo Wang. Say nothing if you have nothing intelligent to say. That night you destroyed was over 3,000 years old. It will help countless invasions and attacks. Well, thank you, thank you, but I can't take all the credit. Wang? What's with the hairdo? Is that a snake on your head, or are you just happy to see me? What the hell, Wang? Hey, I'm just being honest, brother. Talk about needing an extreme makeover. Sit with you, idiot! What the fuck? Did she just summon a trash panda? Hey, hey! Come back here, you little shit! Wang, stop this tomfoolery! This might be our only hope to defeat the dragon! That furry little ball sack stole my mask! What if it loses it? What if it eats it? You can't trust that rat! That's not just some random animal! That's a tanuki! Motoko's spirit animal! A manifestation of her power! Oh, come on, man. You know what it is. It's your fucking girlfriend's trash panda. She's not my girlfriend. Hey, no judgment here. She's not my type, but hey, whatever tickles your pickle. Mr. Wag? I am. I'm also wondering who does your hair. I took it. Because that mask is the only thing that can stave off our inevitable doom. And it was in the hands of a third-rate bargain basement ninja. With a smart mouth and the emotional maturity of a third grader. You sound just like my therapist. Is that a joke, Mr. Wang? I said a hip, hop, a hibbit, a hibbit to the hip, hip, hop. You don't stop, you're rocking to the bang, bang, boogie now. Up, jump the boogie to the boogie, yell the boogie to be. Is it? It's time for Yokai to go boom! And I love throwing shit up! Oh.
Raccoon. I'm gonna turn you into a sock puppet. My hand, straight up your ass. You hear me? doesn't mean we're okay. You still got my mask, and I still want it back. If we want to succeed, I need to separate the uncertain elements. Like your chaotic idiosyncrasies.
<sighs> you're gonna get that mask back, and you're gonna blast that damn dragon out of the sky. That's what Zilla promised, right? This is the biggest whack-a-mole ever! <laughs> Long story short, the world's about to be obliterated by our old dragon friend. And they thought you could stop it. Damn, 
is gonna survive much more of that beating. Yeah, we better bail. That thing looks like a G-string trying to hold back last night's curry. I grew a conscience? Oh, how very human of you. Nothing like a conscience to mess up a lucrative career. Dragon and it kicked my ass. I lost my mojo, man. With Zilla, I had a chance for some payback. But instead of saving the world, you saved my time. Yeah, that was kind of a spur of the moment thing. The bottom line, I guess I'd rather die with my friends than live in a world full of douchebags. Oh, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. But I think I might have to Not really. 
No. You humans have no sense of humor. Yeah, well, those yokais aren't exactly helping. Develop fight or flight response. Although I do have a fight and flight. Ah. Ah. Not really. I've been too busy killing them. That dragon is transporting them from their realm to ours by laying demon eggs. That is fucked up. No, we can use it to our advantage. Listen, the yokais come in different shapes and sizes, which means the eggs are an incubator capable of hatching whatever is necessary. Bastard. I can do it again. I just need to get my immortal soul into one of those demons. What are you looking for? Big ass yokai mess. Since the dragon delivers those eggs, we need a spot that's accessible from the air. Dragon Mountain. The highest peak around. If we can reach the top of the dam, we'll be able to see how to get there. Wow. Would you look at that view? Nice. So, what was it like being dead? Jeez, where to start? Basically, I found myself floating in a deep void of nothingness. A dark, 
old, empty, endless, empty oblivion. Sounds kind of boring. Ah.